The iPhone 7 headphone jack. Why is it really gone? Let's find out. There are several reasons why Apple removed the headphone jack from the iPhone 7, and surprisingly, Courage is not one of them. One of the main reasons why the headphone jack is gone is that the lightning port is proprietary to Apple. Apple owns that jack. So any company making third-party accessories for that lightning port have to pay Apple in order to use it. It's a direct revenue stream for Apple. So let's say as a third-party manufacturer, I want to design a new car charger or a docking station or charging cable for the iPhone 7 using that lightning port. I get to pay Apple royalties for each cable that I make, even though Apple is not producing or manufacturing that cable, just because it's using their port. So how much does Apple make for each third-party accessory sold? It's hard to say for sure. Wikipedia estimates it at about 10%, but, since Apple has NDA forms all over the place, once you're in the program and have signed all their forms, you're not allowed to talk about it, or you'll get sued. Some websites speculate that Apple has recently switched to a $4 flat fee per cable because it's easier to keep track of. Lucky for you guys, I am not in Apple's MFI certification program, and I have not signed any of their forms. But, I have talked to several companies in China that manufacture MFI certified cables. And they say that in order to get certified, it's $550 per product. So let's say I have three different color of lightning cables, and each of those cables come in three different lengths. Now we have nine cables total, and I'm paying Apple almost $5,000 to certify my cables for the public use. Remember that these numbers are not from Apple directly, they're just from the manufacturer in China, so take that how you will. And remember, I am not opposed to these fees. Business is business. Apple designed their own port. Apple should get paid for anyone who decides to use their port. That's how business works, and I'm okay with that. But, just for reference, HDMI ports are also proprietary, and their royalty fee per cable can be as low as 5 cents. You can really tell what manufacturer wants you to use their product, and which manufacturer doesn't. So Apple did not design the 3.5mm headphone jack. So any accessory used with the iPhone using that jack, Apple didn't make any money on. Now that they have effectively eliminated that headphone jack in the iPhone 7, each and every accessory that gets plugged into the iPhone 7, Apple gets paid for. Even if Apple doesn't design, manufacture, or produce that accessory, it's an incredibly intelligent business decision. Apple does legally enforce their patents, as they should. I know someone who is selling non-MFI certified cables, they got sued by Apple and ended up paying over five figures as restitution. So Apple's money is rolling in from all directions. Now remember, I don't care that Apple's protecting their design and their products and their investment and their information. That's totally within their legal right and I approve. It's important to business to protect your assets. But it's unfortunate that they had to remove a feature as useful as the headphone jack just because they weren't making money on it. Apple saw a piece of the financial pie and they took it. The second reason Apple got rid of the headphone jack is because of waterproofing. Sealing off a 3.5 millimeter hole in the bottom of your phone is extremely expensive especially when you're manufacturing millions of them. Sealing that headphone jack internally would cost Apple a lot of money. And why would they spend extra money on something that they aren't making any money with in the first place? Apple's claim that they are dedicated to the wireless future is not valid. If they were truly dedicated to the wireless future, they would have put wireless charging in their cell phones. Wireless charging has been built into cell phones for years now. The thing is, Apple wouldn't make money from that wireless charging, yet. That's why they haven't integrated it into their phones. They would be paying someone else royalties for that technology. And they're not about that life. The argument that the headphone jack doesn't fit inside of the phone isn't valid either. The nice thing about designing your own phone, Apple, is that you get to decide what fits and what doesn't. So now that we know why the headphone jack is gone, let's talk about how it affects us as customers. Let's say you're on a road trip with your friends Anyone who owns an iPhone 7 won't be able to contribute to the aux cable music selection in the car unless you're carrying around your little dongle extender. If you've ever been to a state fair or know any entrepreneurs, they won't be able to use the credit card reader like Square or PayPal for credit card transactions. If you've ever left your headphones at home while you're at the gym or while you're traveling, there's no more buying a cheap $5 pair of headphones with a headphone jack you'll need to buy a way more expensive, proprietary, royalty-fee included pair of lightning headphones that Apple gets paid for even if they weren't made by Apple. But that's just what I think. I'm curious as to what you think. Would you buy a phone without a headphone jack? Let me know down in the comments. And if you like seeing tech reviewed from the inside, hit that subscribe button.
Thanks for watching. Hope to see you around.